I did, which um, I did hear about people harassing the voice actor, which I absolutely believe is not okay. My thoughts on this game, and I have talked to people who were in, who basically were backing it from the beginning as a Kickstarter or a crowd. I'm not sure if it was Kickstarter or something else. I've talked to people who were backing it from the beginning, and the game built itself as a very certain thing. And then what you get has very different elements to it. And, you know, it's like I talk about a romance sim trying to mesh with a, a roguelite. It does some things really well, but it's hard to blend those two things. So you were expecting a fun, cute game about being able to date your weapons and take them in dungeon crawls. Um, and you were I'm sure you were expecting there to be conflict because conflict does make for a good story. But they weren't expecting the antagonist to be quite so immediately, not only immediately unlikable, but immediately trigger so many red flags that like people playing the game would have probably experienced in their time. So talking to the developer about the choice that they made and the story that they chose, because again, this is the developer's choice. It's not on a gamer if a gamer quote unquote can't handle content that somebody else chose to give them without adequate warning or at the very least a you know a, a, enough of a complete content warning so that they would know what to expect if i play a horror game i expect there's going to be blood and guts and probably jump scares and gross stuff you don't have to give me a content warning for that but if the horror game also con contains references to you know uh, suicide chronic illness things like that i'd like to know because some of those are like a deal breaker for me this game was the same. They didn't really stress that enough. So, yeah, people got upset. Now, people going after people who just worked on the game, like going after the voice performers, voice actors, that's not okay at all. If you don't, and, and that's what gets into the weird, the social media mob of, I don't know what to do, so I'm going to basically cast the widest net possible. And it happens a lot in, especially in nerd media. Someone plays a TV show character you don't like. Someone plays a character in a movie you don't like. Or worse, the character in the movie is the cause of something happening that you don't like. And you go after the actor or actress or performer. That's not okay. None of that's okay. Harassing somebody because they took a job. Unless it's like the former president of the United States. Not okay. And even so, harassing them is not okay mainly because he has Secret Service and you'll get hurt, so don't do it. You don't want to go put on a list. Um, it's just that it's not okay. It's certainly okay to tell the developer, I am not happy with this game. It's okay to write an article to say, you know, my opinion on games and my critique is such that this is what I didn't enjoy. And I can tell you while I'm playing it, while I'm streaming it, these are parts that I didn't enjoy about the game. But going on the attack or calling someone out or sending somebody threats because they voiced a character is not okay at all. No. Um, so it's, 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 there's a lot about this that I've been looking forward to the game for a very long time and knowing that the subplot was how they chose to make the narrative is disappointing, which is why I kind of want to get through it and get it resolved so that I can just get back to, like the free dungeon crawling, because that is the part that I really enjoy. Um, I think that's, I feel bad that there's no music going. Like I didn't even have the game's cool music to talk about this. So it's just me silently talking about this. But yeah, um, <clears throat> as what came up, regardless of the, um, regardless of how you feel about the thing, you shouldn't go harassing people who play roles in media because you don't like the media. That's really on you. And, you know, if you don't want to engage with something, put it down, walk away. You know, if you don't want to, if you don't want to engage with something, put it down and walk away. No one is making you play a thing. I don't care how much you were looking forward to it. No one is making you play a thing. No one's making you watch a movie. No one's making you read a book. No one's making you engage with anything in any way. Put it down. Find something else that you actually do enjoy. If you want to express feedback in a review, okay if you find technical problems yeah send a bug report but if you just don't like the game okay go find something else
That's it. There's the, that's really all you can do. Go find something else to play. I've done it several times. So, um, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Just kind of it, it. When I heard about people harassing people who worked on this game, that was that was just like no this this is the kind of that's the kind of internet dogpiling that that's something that harassers do so at the very least you don't want to be those people at the very least beyond that thought you shouldn't refer to that you shouldn't go to that action anyway period that's not where you should go but that's not who that's not who we should be um and I read the articles that were saying, like, you know, people who make media that have that has queer stories can't win. I don't agree with that. Uh, I think that this was a this was an incident of what you thought you were getting is not what you got. That's what it was. As I recall correctly, I don't think the game was actually really intended to have queer relationships in it at all. It was just going to be a fun game about dating your weapons. So. Anyway, um, all that to say, I will let chat decide who we go on our date with.